Hi guys, welcome back to Earth Day. Yes, one of my most favorite days. I love this planet and I want to take care of it and I hope you do too. So I thought that a great idea might be to, uh, and plus we have our we are in the middle of a data and statistics unit. So why not uh, talk about data and statistics as it relates to our planet uh, being Earth Day? So I'm about to share with you 10 interesting facts about our planet and um, give you some pointers at the very end on how we can all help our planet and this beautiful Earth. So. Question number one says, what percent uh, approximately uh, of the Earth's volcanic action actually happens under the Earth's oceans? So I'm going to let you look at the three percentages listed here and, uh, and you can decide. I hope you picked the top one, 90%. Wow, 90% of our volcanic action activity happens underneath the ocean surface. Number two, what is the approximate diameter of the Earth? So, and, and they want us to measure it at the equator. Remember, that's one of our vocabulary words from our geometry unit. The diameter is um, as a line that it can be drawn from one side of the circle to the other, and it must pass through the very center of the circle. So if you look at your three options there, I hope you chose the middle option, 12,750. 56.26 kilometers. Wow, that's big. Number three, how many acres does the Amazonian rainforest cover? Okay, so let's think about that. Look at your three choices and would you believe it is the very last option? One billion acres of beautiful rainforest where all those wonderful animals and plants uh, exist. Whew. Number four, the earth is tilted on an axis. At what angle? So I know we haven't studied this. These are just interesting trivia about our planet. And do, 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 it is the middle angle, 23.5 degrees. Moving along now to question number five. How many pounds of garbage are dumped into the earth's oceans every year? This is a sad statistic. Okay, so I want you to look at those three numbers. And sadly, I have to report, it is the final uh, answer there. At 14 billion pounds of garbage, uh, I found this GIF and, uh, and it made me sad. Uh, bummer. All right, number six, how many different species are there um, on the planet? And this is including both plants and animals. So if you look over on the left-hand side, um, uh, the correct answer is the top answer, 8,700,000 uh, all the way up to 10 million different species of beautiful plants and animals that inhabit this earth. Okay, number seven, how many meters high is Mount Everest? Um, I've done a lot of research on Mount Everest. It's in Nepal and it's been on my um, top 10 places to visit um, for the last 10 years at least. So I haven't made it there yet, but it's very, very high. So how high is Mount Everest? Uh, da, da, da. Okay, it's the last one, 8,848 meters above sea level. Whew. Okay, I'm moving on to number eight. How many tons of plastic are leaked into our oceans? So if you're actually looking at the GIF in the top left-hand corner of our screen, it actually tells you the correct answer, which is eight million tons of plastic. Guys, that's a lot of plastic, and I'm going to get on my soapbox just for a second and tell you that we can all do something by um, using glass, using uh, choosing not to use plastic, and um, reducing, reducing, reducing the amount that we use plastic. Okay, number nine. How many square kilometers of rainforest are destroyed every year? Okay, 
yet another sad statistic. And unfortunately, it's the top one, 150,000 square kilometers. Kilometers are huge, folks. And uh, that is what is being destroyed in our beautiful rainforests every year. Number 10, I found a question about uh, the Sahara Desert. My husband and I actually spent some time there. Um, and my, my husband used to be uh, there as a Marine and was stationed in the Sahara Desert and it's gorgeous and beautiful. And would you believe out of these three fractions, um, the Sahara Desert actually is one third of the whole continent. Wow. So we have to protect these beautiful resources and lovely places on our earth. We have such a beautiful home on this planet. So you may be asking yourself, what can I do as a junior high student to, uh, to help our planet? And um, as we mentioned on the plastic slide, you know, plastics are not fantastic. Please reduce their use. Anytime you have a choice, I even have um, switched from plastic toothbrushes to bamboo toothbrushes. So every choice you make, um, if you just have that in the back of your mind that you're not going to use the plastic choice, maybe find an alternative, um, that would be helpful. That's one small thing that you can do. And um, of course, recycling. There's some great recycling centers. I, I believe there is one in Glen Rose. I use the one in Granberry uh, that's open on Saturdays for me. So that works for my schedule and they take everything. Um, so number two, you can conserve energy and water. You don't have to have it lights turned on um, all the time you can when you're brushing your teeth you can turn the water off uh, don't use extra water if you don't have to and number three don't be a litter bug make sure that if you're not going to be able to recycle something make sure it goes in the trash bin um, never ever ever just thrown out um, out at a park or, or in in nature number four please don't use plastic bags when you're at the at the grocery store you can choose paper sacks and um i of course uh always love my reusables so um i i have a uh, hundred of them in my cars and i love them and it makes me feel good when i use them and i encourage you to do that too even when you're at Subway, they know when I walk in the door that they don't put my sandwich in a plastic bag. They know that the paper wrapper is just enough. So small choices every single day can add up and make a big difference. Our fifth suggestion for a junior high student, you can plant a tree. Um, you can plant beautiful flowers. You can enjoy nature and um, get that uh, uh make a difference in in a small way so be you help our environment and keep smiling thank you for listening